Today's technology enables, enables organizations to do things that were unimaginable 10 years ago. If I look at a situation where the CEO has a blog and speaks about what happened yesterday in an executive meeting and the entire company can read it and then they can discuss it through bulletin boards and internal Twitter and all kinds of different mechanisms, everybody's glued in. It used to take months, if not a year, for stuff to filter down like that. Technology can provide the circuitry for sharing information and for just keeping up with the times. There's a, a wonderful little video I saw yesterday of the head of Deloitte Australia who started using Twitter. And then everybody in the organization started using Twitter. And they go to a meeting and they make a decision and people know about it five minutes after the decision's been, been made. And they can ask while a meeting's still going on, well, oh, what, do we think about this? And how does this affect our partners in France or the supply of aluminum or you know, whatever they're talking about? So it enables a business to work on things in real time and to all work together. Well, thinking about the use of technology broadly, I think of what sorts of questions people need to get answers to. What sort of thing do they need to be able to do to improve the way they work? And it comes down to know who, know how, know what, things like that. Know who means that if there's expertise in the organization, I want a way to find it. I want to know people's backgrounds. I want it like when I call IBM and say, I need somebody who knows this, this, and this, and also speaks Portuguese and has experience with old style mainframe conversions. And they say, just a minute, and I'm talking to that person because they've got something called Blue Pages, which shows me all of their backgrounds. So, profiles, I mean, that, 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 that's immediately required. Uh, as far as know what, finding content. Search is incredibly important these days. The algorithms are very strong. Lots of companies still have information stored in file cabinets, which aren't amenable to search. They don't think that, hold it, we've got to put things online for everybody to share and index them and then show people how to use those indexes. A very simple little thing which can revolutionize the way a company looks at organization is simply tagging, putting tags whenever there's a new entry made where people can follow the breadcrumbs and find it when they're through. Um, let's see, no who, no what nowhere. Um, an important part of technology is the stuff that exists outside the corporation. Now, IT departments traditionally say, hold it, hold it, outside, nope, danger, you know, they're, they're dragons out there. Don't, don't do that. But, I mean, when days are that you learn things from, from YouTube and from uh, MIT or Harvard or, you know, lots of other sources, you've got to be able to get to the outside and you have to really know how to use it. When we're talking about metal learning, I'd say learning to use technology is a critical, critical factor. And by the way, uh, a friend of mine is Howard Rheingold, and Howard is now teaching students at Berkeley and Stanford about well, essentially new media literacy. And there'd been this myth that, hey, anybody under 25 has already got this nail. They, they know how to do this. Well, no, they know how to use Facebook. And knowing how to use Facebook is sort of like the old days when you say, oh, I know the web, I'm on AOL. No, you don't know the web at all. <laughs> you know, this little, little bitty fraction. So there's an enormous task ahead just to helping people become more techni technically literate and able to use the riches that we've now got.